Okay. Team Flourish. Woo! Hey, Amy. Okay, so. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. My name is Kara Lewis-Newton. I'm a Black Status ex Exclusive Presenter with Unique. If you want to know more about the business that I run, you can check out my bio and send me an email. If you want to share this, you can swipe to the right, and the hearts mean you love me. Okay, so let's get started. Here's a question that I guarantee, guarantee, guarantee you, you like that, is going to come up. If you are a leader, this is going to come up in the next two months, okay, if it hasn't already. December and January are always, after the 15th of December, are always slower months. It's just the way it is. The last Periscope, we talked about that a little bit. Um, and that is true for retail everywhere, okay? However, people are going to take it personal, and they're going to think it's because of them, that they've done something wrong, that they're not doing the business correctly, and that's why the sales are slow, okay? But... Um, and so they're going to come to you as their leader and they're going to say, help me. What am I doing wrong? Nobody's responding. No one's buying. No one, no one is even looking at what I'm doing. Okay. Um, if you're a leader, there's no way that you haven't had that happen yet. It just, that is part of this business. That is part of being a leader in this business. And the way you respond to that question is really important. Okay. All right. <clears throat> It's just not working. What am I doing wrong? That's the question you get. The first thing you want to do is ask them if they have an online party that is either currently running or preferably one that has closed so that you can see the entire thing, okay? Get into that party if you're not already, and you need to start jotting things down. So these, when I have a presenter under me ask me this and I get into one of their parties, these are the questions that I ask. Um, that I write down uh, to, to chat with them later, okay? So is there a welcome video? Is there a welcome video? And if there is, was it the very first thing posted, okay? If you don't know my rationale between the, behind the welcome video posting directly to Facebook and making that your number one, your first post, go watch my training on YouTube on online parties, okay? That is very, very, very important for online parties. Welcome video being the first thing posted, uploaded to Facebook. So look at that. Are they posting three times a day? I can't tell you how many times I've had people come to me and say, it's just not working. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I get on there. They're not posting three times a day. They skip days. Okay. Um, that's huge. If that's not happening, party's not going to go well. It's going to be a flop. Okay. So that's the second thing you want to look at. Then you want to look at, are they jumping around all over the place from product to product? So, so often I'll get into a party. And we'll do the welcome video and we'll start out and we start out with the lashes and then all of a sudden we're on lip stain. And then we're on foundation. And then we're on lip gloss. And then we're to primer. And then we're to cleanser. Okay. First of all, too many products. All right. And you want to have a schedule and a sequence and a flow to the party. Okay. So does her party have a flow or are you left kind of feeling schizophrenic in it? Is there a video posted every day? Are her viewers seeing her face and hearing her voice every day? Okay, that's another thing you want to look at. Are her videos under three minutes? Nothing will kill a party faster than bad pictures <laughs> and videos that are over three minutes. Okay, people don't want to watch something more than three minutes when they're browsing through Facebook. And then I want you to count the graphics. I guarantee you, if she's struggling with her online parties, usually there are too many graphics in the party. So I want you to actually go through and count Okay, because a party will have at least 30 posts for a 10 day party, at least, usually it's actually 33. And then if you add a day on the end, just to close it all, um, it ends up being 36 posts. Okay. I will go through sometimes and I will count almost 15 to 18 graphics and they don't even realize they're doing it. Okay. So it's good to have a count. Say I just counted and you have 18 graphics. That means 18 posts with no pictures of a person or you. Okay. All right, so that's what you want to look at. Those are the things you want to write down so that you can send her and bullet point. These are the things that I saw in your party, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to look at her Facebook profile, okay? So you want to go to her Facebook profile. Is she posting graphics? 
all right? Because I'm seeing a lot of graphics on people's Facebook profiles right now. Um, they're cute. You know, it's Christmas, and we talked about this. I'm seeing a lot of foundation and blusher brush uh, graphics. But, ladies, it is a graphic, okay? It is a graphic. It annoys people. They skim right over it. And a picture of a product will not make someone want to buy it. Promise you, okay? A picture of a girl looking at of a random stock image girl looking at a package on your Facebook feed is not going to make someone want to buy the unique products, okay? You're wasting that valuable, valuable space on your friend's feeds, okay? So if you've got a graphic on your Facebook profile, you're killing your business, all right? Okay, uh, that is called selling. That is not sharing, all right? Are you posting your link on your Facebook profile? Is she posting her link? That's selling. That's not sharing, okay? So these are the things you want to look at in her Facebook profile if she's struggling. Are they posting videos about, or are they posting about how Unique integrates into their life? That's sharing, okay? So sharing about going out with some uh, girls on your team. Uh, sharing, you know, the latest splurge cream shadow. Um, sharing how... You know, your family paid for dinner tonight with your with your with the purple card. Okay, that's sharing. That's not selling. All right. Um, you know, promotions. That's sharing. Right. But putting up pictures of the products that's selling with your link. Um, are they posting about normal life stuff, or is their entire feed unique? Okay. Um, I don't want people to think that I am only unique. All right. There's so much more to me. Than this business, right? I mean, <laughs> I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I love to decorate, I love to shop, I love um, my friends, I love hanging out with my sister. Okay, there's so much more to me than unique. That needs to be on your Facebook wall too, okay? And I want you to go through, and I learned this from my black upline, Laura Dilly, I want you to go through and look at her posts, okay? If she does have some normal life posts, Look at how many likes she gets on those posts and then compare it with the likes she gets with Unique. And don't count Unique presenters, okay, in her likes. I bet there's a huge difference, okay? So you need to figure out why are people interested in her normal life posts and not in the Unique posts, okay? It's a good, it's a good way to show her uh, the difference between sharing and selling. Um, okay, so you look at an online party, you look at her Facebook pro profile, and then you ask if you can look at her uh, customer-based group, okay? If she doesn't have a customer-based group, that's a problem right there, right? <laughs> also, keep this in mind. If she's new, between one and three months, don't expect much from that customer-based group after your launch party, okay? You've got to, you have to, you have to have time to build and create trust, okay? So if not a lot is happening in that customer-based group between the first one, three, four, even five months, that is normal. You're building trust. Remember we talked about the different levels of engagement, okay? Your customer-based group in that first one to four to five months, depending on your circle, your level of engagement with them is very, very low. You can't expect a lot. So get on there. C, is she forcing engagement with her customer-based group? Is she forcing them to post pictures? Is she forcing them to ask to answer questions? Okay, they may not be ready for that. She's, they're still building trust. So have her do a series rather than do things that, that forces them to engage. They're not going to. They're going to fight against that because they don't trust that she's not going to get all salesy on them. Okay, um, remind her. That frequency does not equal consistency. Man, I see this a lot. Someone will say to me, or, or I'll get messages from you, I'm being consistent, I'm being consistent. No, you're being frequent, okay? There's a big difference between being frequent and being consistent, okay? Frequency means you're just posting, 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 okay? Consistency is about creating a relationship and not giving up day after day after day with good, solid, connecting posts, okay? Frequency, post whatever the heck comes on your mind, and you post it because you got to be frequent. you got to get it on there. That's not consistency, okay? So for me, my customer-based group, you know, I kind of follow the rule that occasionally posting more than once a day is okay, like when I'm doing a series or something's coming up. But for me, more than once a day, I, I post about once a day, okay? And it's something about my life right? It's something about me. It's a picture of me. It's something to get them talking because I'm at a higher level of engagement with my customer base group at this point, okay? No graphics. If she's got graphics in that customer base group, you've got to tell her. You got to get those graphics out, 
okay? And now you've just lost trust, okay? So this is a big one, all right? If there's graphics in her customer base group, she has lost trust with those customers and she has to earn it back, okay? And don't expect that to happen overnight. That's going to take a while. It's going to take patience and it's going to take you being creative and figuring out ways to connect with them on a level that they can relate to you and, and, and see you being authentic and genuine. It may take her getting on there and saying, you know what? In, in front of her customer base group, I realized I was doing this all wrong. And I just want you to uh, be prepared for some changes in this group. Right? Okay, so encourage her with that. Are there giant lags in time between when she posts? So she's like all gung-ho for three weeks and then three months and you're like, where the heck does she go? Okay, again, that um, creates distrust. You've lost trust with your customers and it's gonna take you a while to build that back up. So you can't post and then three months later say they don't care, they're not listening, they're not. Or you can't post and then three months later you post again like crazy for three weeks and nobody listens. Well, because you weren't consistent, okay? And you lost trust with your customers. So you have to be patient if you've lost trust and you need to be able to share that with your downline and say, you know what, you lost trust. We're gonna have to work on getting that back. Let me show you how, okay? Um, are they posting about their life or are they posting about the product, okay? And what I mean by um, in your customer base group, you know, uh, here's an example. So again, remember, I have a high level of engagement, all right? You may not be at this level of engagement yet. I had my husband's work Christmas party to go to uh, last weekend. And the dress attire was creative cocktail. I don't know what the heck that was, okay? <laughs> I had no idea what that was, all right? So I got on my customer base group. I showed some pictures of me in a dressing room trying some different dresses on. And I said, what is creative cocktail? Post your ideas below. And I'm going to pick one winner, winner who wins a primal lip liner because that's what I was wearing that night, okay? Keeping unique in it. Um, and they went crazy posting all kinds of pictures of what they thought was creative cocktail. And then later that night, I posted my creative cocktail outfit and my makeup for the night, okay? It was my life, okay? It was, they were in on what I was doing. They knew what was going on in my life, but I didn't veer away from beauty and makeup, okay? Um, you create brand confusion when you veer away from the topic of what that customer base group is, which is makeup, okay? So we don't wanna hear about your dog, don't want to hear about your kid's soccer game, okay? Don't want to hear about what you're making for dinner tonight unless it somehow incorporates unique and makeup, okay? Because it really creates confusion. Like, why am I in this group and what, <laughs> what are you trying to, to tell me right now, okay? So you have to figure out a way how to incorporate unique into the rest of your life, okay? So, for example, like that soccer game, all right? I have posted a picture of myself wrapped up in scarves and a winter hat sitting at my daughter's soccer game, but my lashes looked amazing at that soccer game, okay? So I made some snarky comment about that in my customer base group, okay? So it's my life, but I'm bringing it back to what the brand is, okay? I'm bringing it back to the brand, and the brand is I am their makeup girl, okay? That's the brand, all right? So... Those are the ways that I try to guide and lead the girls that are under me if they are saying to me it's not working. Well, there's a reason, okay? Don't tell me online doesn't work. It does. Don't tell me you have to have a big following to sell online. That's not true, okay? I did not have a big following when I started Unique, all right? Um, and the people that purchase from me, my following is unique, okay? My following is not like the outside world. The people that purchase from me are my customer base group and my customers and the people from my online parties, okay? So, um, you know, don't let them get discouraged and think, well, I don't have a big following. I don't have a lot of friends. No, it's all in how you present the products, okay? You have to integrate it with your life. So, that is how I work with a girl that says, it's just not working for me, all right? What are your questions? <laughs> Hi, Allie. <laughs> Any questions? I do sometimes post the same post in my customer group on my wall. If I really like it, I'll post it in both. <laughs> My kids are 10, 8, and 5. Yes, fo you're, 
It's not in the beginning. You're always focusing on conversations and building relationships. How did I gain people for parties? You know what? Go watch my uh, how to get a hostess video on YouTube, and that tells you exactly what I did. Just to give you a quick idea, I did not come out of my launch party with 15 parties. I came out with two. And from those two, I have built and built and built and built. <sighs> okay. Here's the deal. Um, first of all, thank you for thinking I'm gorgeous. I appreciate that. Um, here's, here's the reality though. Women don't want to see supermodels. Okay. I'm not a supermodel. I'm not, let's be real. Okay. I'm an average mom. Okay. I feel confident about how I look, but I'm not a supermodel. All right. Um, I think honestly, I have gotten more beautiful since joining unique because my confidence has risen. Honestly, like if you could have seen me, um, 15 months ago, you probably wouldn't have used the word gorgeous to describe me. Okay. It comes with confidence and honestly, women are attracted to confident women. They really are. Um, so get on that video, be confident in who you are and how you look and you will attract other women. I promise. Um, over posting non unique. That's what I was talking about. Um, when I, that, that last part, if, if you haven't been on here, you want to watch that. How do you deal with negativity about posting selfies? Get rid of them. <laughs> Just ignore it. Okay. Does my five-year-old get ready for school by himself? He does. Isn't that amazing? I mean, for the most part, I help him pick out his clothes and brush his teeth, <laughs> but he gets his own breakfast and wakes up. Do I encourage my team to post publicly on their personal page? No. Um, I think that is a really personal decision. And I have some girls whose husbands don't like it, you know, and I will never tell them to do something that their husbands don't want them to do. And I completely respect that. Um, you know, I have some girls whose husbands have jobs where it's, they'd rather not have their wives do that, you know? So I think, um, you know, I became successful in this business by not posting on my personal wall. Um, now I do post on my personal wall now, uh, because unique is such a huge part of my life at this point. Um, and people know that, so it's not weird anymore, but in the beginning, honestly, I didn't post on my wall at all. And so I, on, I really do believe that you can be successful in this business and not post on your personal wall. Um, but again, I'm at a place with unique where it is such a huge part of my life. It'd be kind of silly for me not to post about it, you know, how bad negativity what you focus on will grow. That's the bottom line. And um, Tori, uh, on, on our last Black Status call, Tori said that, and it really resonated with me. It's so true. What you focus on will grow. So if you focus on the negative things about this business, that's what will grow in your business. You know? Did she do a launch party? She's 30 days in, no sales. Has she done a launch party? If she has not done a launch party, then that's the problem. <laughs> um, your launch party is just that. It will launch your business. And you can't start this business without a launch party. So uh, if she hasn't done a launch party, she can't expect for anything to happen. Nothing. Uh, yes, I am wearing a liquid liner. The other thing, too, is um, if you have a cousin who's been doing wrong, should you make a new one? No, I wouldn't make a new one. Okay, What I would do is be real, make a video and say, you know what? I'm learning so much in this business. I have been watching videos. I've been learning from other leaders and I realized I haven't been doing this right. And I want to change the way I'm doing it. And so I want you to be on the lookout for some new ways that I'm going to be presenting this to you. Okay. I would be real with your customer base group. Say I wasn't doing this right and I'm going to change it. And I want you to be on the lookout for new things. Okay. That's what I would do. Also, when someone comes to you asking for help, it's really important that you get their permission to give them critiques. So anytime a girl asks me for help, I'll say, um, if it's okay with you, can you add me to this, this, and this? And I'd like to give you my feedback on what I think you could do differently. Is that okay? You want them to invite that, okay? If it's not, don't waste your time, okay? Um, they've been in months and they're sitting at zero. Uh, I mess, I would message them and say, Hey, would you like my thoughts or my ideas on how I think you could help your business? If they don't respond or if they don't, if they, you know, if they say, yes, I would love that, then great. But if not, don't worry about it. Okay. You can't focus on the girls that aren't working their business. How to handle customer comments in a base group overstepping their bounds. 
Um, that's a hard one because some people feel a little bit more comfortable with you and then you've also got customers in there that don't know you real well. Um, that's really hard. You know, I wouldn't be afraid to delete comments that need to be deleted. Um, and then just personal message and say, you're so funny. You know, I had to delete that. You know, I would just play it off really casual. Um, but if you don't want it in that group and it's not helping your business, delete it. If she's not willing to do it, you got to let her go, girl. You just do. You can't force someone to want it. You can't force it. You can help them and you can give them all the suggestions. What if you just have the presenter's kit? Then you have everything you need to launch your business. Everything. You know what I launched my business with? The mascara. I didn't even have my presenter's kit. I spent the first five days of my launch party with only mascara and Lux lip gloss, okay? You have everything you need in that presenter's kit to do a launch party. Every product in that kit, you can do a video on, okay? They need to make, what do you mean? How to help a new presenter duplicate your parties when they don't have videos? They have to make videos. Yeah, that's part of the, doing an online party. You gotta make videos. Yep, that's because, Jessica, that's because we uh, weren't too far apart when we joined this business, right? <laughs> I think you were maybe six weeks after me. And we were so excited to start, we just started. That's how you know you got a pr good presenter under you, is when she starts before her kit even arrives. <laughs> All right. Any other questions that I can answer real quick? You know, like I said, you, you, you need to focus on money-producing activities. And if she is just wasting your time, then you just say, you know what, I'm here if you have any questions, I'm here to help. But then go focus on someone who wants it. Uh, yes, I would have them make some videos before they launch. So on Team Flourish, like, you know, they go through my sample party and um, the things that I think you have to have for your launch are your welcome video, your application video, um, a removal video, a thank you video. Uh, so four videos. Uh, but I always say start with the welcome video. It's less than 30 seconds. You can do it. Start with the welcome video. And usually that that's a pretty easy one for someone just starting out to do. All right. All right. Any other questions? Good. I hope this was helpful. I know. I have a really hard time letting people go through because you see the potential and you know that, like, how fun this is and how this can change your life. Um, my YouTube name is Kara Lewis Newton. Yep. I'm going to focus on some recruiting strategies in January, so look for that. Um, that's going to be something I'm personally going to be working on in January. So, yeah, I'll start talking about recruiting then. Sometimes just ask how you, your, um, my family? Is that what you're asking me? Does my family support me? Um, I mean, my family's awesome, okay? My sister made fun of me for a good six months, and then she joined my team. Um, my mom said she would never buy $29 silly mascara, and now she calls it her lash crack. Um... Yeah, I mean, I've had family members join. I've had family members, you know, go inactive. Um, but they are not my customers in no way, shape, or form. My family are not the ones that are buying from me. Um, my best friends are not the ones that are buying from me. So that's not, um, you know, you want to look at your launch party as, like, your practice. You know, those are the people that love and support you. And so um, they may not be your biggest spenders. They'll probably buy some, but they're probably not going to be your biggest spenders. But that's a great place to just kind of learn the business, know, get to know what you're doing, create that script so that when you get another party, you've already done it once, okay? Uh, probably not. Usually somebody records these periscopes, so, um, but feel free to share this on Facebook, and usually, Brandy Phillips, I don't know if you're on here, she sometimes records my videos for me. You have about 800 in your VIP group. I have about uh, 1,200 maybe. Um, and yeah, not everyone's active. Not everyone probably even sees my posts. What you want are the people that are though. <laughs> and what happens is once you get a really active group going because of Facebook, Facebook algorithms, if a lot of people are commenting on something or involved in something, then it will show it to more people in that group. And so that's kind of what I always um, hang on to is that when I do my series, uh, more people in that group will actually see the series than they do on a regular basis because so many people are commenting. 
In a series? No, I post three times a day in a series, just like I would in a party. Yeah. Uh, go ask yourself those questions I just said to ask the girls under you. Go look through your customer-based group and really ask yourself some of the questions that I just asked um, and see if there are some changes you can make in your customer-based group because there might be, you know. And if you haven't been with Unique for a long time, then you're still building trust. More people see your pictures than videos. Um, usually that's not true. Usually videos get seen more than um, pictures. I don't know. Your last part of your dead. Well, you're on the right scope. I just went through all of the things to ask yourself about your party or have your sponsor go through your party and really critique it for you. All right. Oh, you're two months at girl. <laughs> um, yeah, that customer-based group, I mean, I've been doing this since last July, and that's why I have the level of engagement that I have. So it's possible you're you're requiring a level of engagement from them, and you're only down here. If you're only two months in, you have quite a bit of work to do to gain that trust and relationship with them before you start to see the sales um, in that group, okay? Um, those of us that have been with Unique longer are the ones that are seeing those really big numbers in our customer-based group, but it is worth it. Let me tell you, at the last two series I did, I had $4,000 parties in that customer-based group. But again, I've been with Unique longer, okay, and I've been consistent in that group creating relationship. It's been banning your videos. You've probably got copyrighted music on it. Yay, seven new hostesses. I love to hear that. That's awesome. I'm so glad it worked for you. Yeah, your party is your number one product. Your party is your number one product. Don't forget that. And if you give them an experience they love, they will trust you enough to have that same experience with their friends. That's the only way you're going to get more parties. All right. Well, I'm going to get going. I hope this was helpful. Again, you can share this if you want to share this with your followers or share it on Facebook. Um, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.